going on guys it's Sonic Lego Customs here and today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my um, showcase that I've been wanting to do for a little bit um, I have finished all the live action uh, movie jokers so um, I'm going to get started um, from the very beginning in 1966 and go all the way up to um, 2019 so the first one we're gonna start off with is Cesar Romero's Joker <laughs> So to start off with him, um, you can see going up from the um, from the hair. The hair is the um, is the um, it's the Sinestro hairpiece, I guess I could say, or the Joker hairpiece. These in the sets, and I painted it lime green, and then I um, and then I painted the face entirely from scratch onto a on a white minifigure head, and I even added the mustache lines that this Joker had. Then the um, then you can see the jacket was made of e tape, and I completely painted it pink. And so I'd paint his under like waistcoat um waistcoat and um, pink, and I painted the lion green shirt. Then I so also painted the arms in um, green and also pink. Then I added the pink gloves, and then I painted the legs pink. And um, so yeah, and then I added the lines onto the. Um, on the, on the pants as well for his striped pants. So yeah, that is it for Cesar Romero, Joker. He was a pretty simple fig. All right, next up from 1989, we have Jack Nicholson's from the 1989 Batman movie. All right, so to start off with Jack Nicholson's Joker, the hair was the um. It was the normal, uh, I don't know what piece you'd want to, what hair, kind of hair you wanted to qualify it as. Um, but, um, you can just see the hair, I, um, it's the Peter Venkman hairpiece, or the Dr. Who hairpiece, that's what it is. Then I painted it in this shade of green, and then I, the face, um, was the Dark Knight Returns, um, Joker face from the Blind Bag series, because I thought it looked perfect to Jack Nicholson's likeness. Then the trench coat and the tie were made out of, um, um, the coat and the tie were both made out of index card. So, yeah, and then they were painted, and you can see I painted all the lines on the, um, everything you can see every on this figure. So, yeah, um, that is it for Jack Nicholson Joker from the 1989 Batman film. So, yeah, that's it for him. All right, next up, probably the one that everybody knows the most of, um, and the one that um, everybody loves most likely, I don't know why I said that again, is Heath Ledger's um, incarnation. <laughs> All right, so to start off with Heath Ledger's, um, the hair was the Anakin Skywalker hair piece, which I painted green and then added wash of brown because his hair is not all the way green. And the head, I don't remember what head this was, but I remember it had um, this kind of smile on it. So I just um, painted it, and so I painted all the signature things too, Heath Ledger's Joker. And then you can see I painted the, um, you can see all the olive, the olive green trench coat, or um, waistcoat I painted, and, um, and I painted the tie, um, and I painted the tie in the same color of green, so, um, yeah, that is pretty much it, and also the trench coat was made out of, um, e-tape, and I painted everything, and I sculpted on his, um, pocket watch, like, or the chain and then I gave him two accessories his knife and his gun or just a machine gun and I painted the um, sh brown then I painted the brown shoes and the purple stripes onto the blue pants so yeah that's it for Heath Ledger Joker he was a pretty simple fig but um, I love how he came out so yeah that's it for um, that's it for Heath Ledger Joker all right now for everybody's um, least favorite incarnation of the Joker, played by in Suicide Squad. Here is Jared Leto. All right. So to start off with Jared Leto's, um, the hair was the Widow's Peak hair piece, which I painted green. 
and I painted the head uh, um, from a base um, white head. I painted all the tattoos, the smile, the grill, and, I, all the, and the eyes, and you can see everything I painted there. Then the torso was the hardest part because I had to paint the jester skull right here, the ha-ha-has, the joker name, and then the smile. That was kind of intricate and tricky. And then the um, the ha-ha-has are painted on this arm as well as this tattoo. is supposed to be the bat symbol with the, uh, like a knife through it. And then I painted on his, and then I painted on his um, hand tattoo. And then on this one I added the smile. And then I added the robin with the arrow through a tattoo. And then I added some more ha-ha-has on there just cause. And so, um, that, um, pretty much it for, um, Jared Leto's Joker. And also one more detail I forgot to add. Um, um, I, j I actually painted on Arkham right here for Arkham Asylum. And also I painted his, um, um I also painted the white for his feet. So, um, so yeah, um, and also I added a couple more lines at the back, just because I could. So, um, yeah, that's it for, um, Jared Leto, Joker. And now for the latest incarnation of the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Alright, to start off with, with his Joker, so... The hair was the Luke Skywalker hairpiece, painted green, dark green. The face was an angry clone head, which I painted all the details on. And then um, the ja the every part of the body was painted in dark red, and I added all the details like the lapels, the pockets, and then the creases on the arms. The um, waistcoat was a um, what, yellow, um, no, sorry, it was an orange piece of E-tape, which I painted all the details on. I painted the brown shoes, and so yeah, and then I did add the light blue on the sleeves for his undershirt right there. So yeah, that is it for um, Joaquin Phoenix Joker, and that's going to do it for this video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, be, be sure to subscribe to Sonic Lego Customs, and don't, don't forget to follow my Instagram, which is also Sonic Lego Customs, and hopefully my next showcase will be my Red Dead Redemption 2 figures, my first four I finished. So yeah, so that's going to do it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.